All right, here we go. Question number 14 from our 0314 homework number four in my lab math. We have a bit of a word problem here. It says one canned juice drink is 20% OJ. Another is 5% OJ. How many liters of each should be mixed together in order to get 15 liters? That is 6% OJ. Okay? Okay. So what I've done is I've recopied this word problem over here in my workspace. And I'm going to show you how to break this down and set up your equations here. Let's start with one can juice, 20% OJ. Okay, so that's going to be my first can is 20%. Another, the second can is 5%. And then it says how many liters of each should be mixed. That is an indication that we want to set up what I call buckets. Okay. So we're going to mix two buckets of stuff and get a resulting bucket of stuff, okay? We're going to mix these two together. The mixture, we need to get 15 liters. That is 6% OJ. Okay, so let's go through. We're going to fill in each bucket. Each bucket's going to get two values, okay? We're going to have a percent and an amount. The first bucket is 20% OJ. The second bucket is 5% OJ. And we know that the resulting mixture needs to be 6% OJ. There's the percents. Now we need the amounts. And the only amount that I'm given is the resulting amount needs to be 15 liters. So the first bucket, let's say it could be 5 and the other one could be 10. 5 plus 10 is 15. Or the first bucket, it could be 1 plus 14 is 15. Or it may be 14 plus 1 is 15. The, the point here is I don't really know how much, how many liters is in each of the two buckets that I'm mixing. And so for that, I'm going to have to use variables. So let's say that the first amount is X. I have no idea how much it is. It's X. And in the second bucket, I cannot use X again because that would indicate that they're the same amount. And I don't know that they are the same. So we're going to have to use a different variable to indicate that these could be different amounts. Okay. Once you get... The bucket's filled in, every bucket with its two different values. Then you can extract your equations, okay? So the first and the easiest equation is going to be the amount equation. I know that if I mix the two amounts together, it has to produce 15 liters, okay? That's the first equation. That is the amount equation. And then the second equation comes from multiplying down in your buckets. This is going to be the percent equation. And so 20 times X, that's 20X. 5 times Y is 5Y. 15 times 6 is 90. Multiply down in the buckets to get the percent equation, okay? So now we can scroll all the way up. And notice that we now have a system of two equations with two unknowns. And I now have some tools that I can use. I can e either use the uh, addition method, elimination. I can either use the substitution method or I can uh, use the calculator and solve it. And so since you're probably going to have to show your work, I'm going to use, mm, I think I'm going to use substitution, okay? So I'm going to take this first equation and move the X over. And that's going to give me Y equals 15 minus X. And then I'm going to know that Y is 15 minus X. And so in the second equation, I can replace Y with what it's equal to. We're going to use substitution. So this second equation is going to become 20x plus 5 times 15 minus x. Again, replacing the y with what it's equal to equals 90. 
and now I can solve for X okay next step distributive property that's going to give me 20 X plus 15 times 5 is 75 minus 5 X equals 90 combine like terms 20 minus 5 is 15 X 75 wants to move over to make minus 75 and what is 90 minus 75 let's see here menu and one that is 15 oh look at this divide both sides by 15 this is going to be nice x is one and remember that's liters x is one liters now what did x represent x was the amount of 20 percent oj so we're going to use one liter of the 20 percent oj and that means we're going to use 14 liters of the five percent oj the y was the five and I can already feel some of you are going, How the, did, what, where did the 14 come from? Well, remember up here that the uh, equation says the two amounts have to make 15. And so 14 and 1 makes 15. So that's how I knew the Y was 14. And now we are done. So let's fill in. 20%, we're going to use 1 liter. And for the 5%, 14 liters. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.